not often that we locate our units in a playground. In fact, we've never located units in a playground, but this playground is closed. It's gonna get redeveloped. Uh, they've got a convenient fence and it made it a really good location for us to land our unit. This is a four story wood frame building. It's built on top of a one story concrete parking garage, all pretty standard construction. It's heated by a 1 million BTU boiler that's located in the mechanical room. This is a planned shutdown, something that has been in the works for a while. All infrastructure wears out. Even well-maintained equipment eventually wears out and needs to be replaced. There's a utility grant that was available that was an impetus to get this project rolling that will offer a more reliable system, but ultimately the big win for everybody is reduced energy costs. These new boilers are much more efficient than their predecessors. This is our 1.2 million BTU temporary boiler. And this project is running on natural gas. We can also run them on propane, or if we have to, we can convert them to run on diesel. It's waterproof. It's meant to sit out in the environments. You can see the snow. It'll take rain. We can locate them inside as long as the venting can reach the outdoor environment. These are our high pressure hydronic water hoses. They carry the water to and from the building that we're heating. We've encased them in plastic piping in the lane to prevent damage, vandalism, a car hitting them. Also protects them from the snow and ice conditions that we're experiencing right now. This boiler utilizes a natural gas feed from the building. We also get electrical that energizes our pumps, so it helps us distribute the hot water that we're making. And then ultimately it gets into every single suite through the radiators in the rooms to keep the families that live here comfortable. This is the building's mechanical room. Come on over here and we'll take a look at how we distribute the water in this building. We enter through this louver and it comes down and into our hydronic heat exchanger or braze plate heat exchanger. This is a transfer point. It's a sealed system. It keeps our loop and the building loop separate. We use the pump to assist it into the building loop. It enters into here, it goes through all of the radiators and all the suites, keeps all the families warm. And then when it comes back, it enters back into this mechanical room through this pipe here. There's a lot of planning and physical labor that goes into a project of this magnitude. We're a small but integral part of that, but we have to ensure that the 50 families that live in this complex remain warm and comfortable through the entire length of this job. We were able to complete our installation and be operational over the course of two days. Once we were operational, we tidied up the job site. We made sure we were secure behind this temporary fencing. We made sure that our system was producing everything that the building was expecting and that everything married up and was very reliable. And once that happened, we were able to turn this project over to the building manager, the engineer that's involved, and ultimately the mechanical contractor that is going to complete the rest of this upgrade work. As with any installation that we're involved in, we strive for a trouble-free, reliable, and effective solution. If this is the kind of project that you're contemplating, why don't you give us a call and see how simple a cool air solution can be. You know, I wonder if I could still fit on this slide. <laughs>